What's up, everyone? I found this Starlink Gen 3 dish floated up on the beach yesterday. I have no idea where this came from, if it came from the Santa Cruz Wharf or if it came from some of those boats that sunk in the harbor recently with these big storms. But if you're anything like me, you're probably wondering what the guts of one of these things looks like on the other side. What better opportunity to find out than to tear one of these things apart. As you can hear, this thing's full of water, so I'm pretty convinced it's gonna be shot on the inside. I think what the plan will be is I'm gonna open this thing up, let the water out, maybe pull some of the components out, and then, I don't know, maybe we'll let it dry out and see if we can do something with it. If not, uh, well, we'll just find out what's uh, in the sausage here. Hopefully just busting this open enough or we can let some of the water out. Again, I'm not really taking too much care here because I think that this thing's gonna be shot anyway. Getting any water out yet? No. That looks like the seal there. So if we can get in here. I don't really know what this is. If this has anything to do with the waterproofing or if this is just a unimportant protective layer. <clears throat> Ouch. That got me good. Let me go take care of that. All right. Now I went through with pulling that off just because there is this kind of odd pattern here. Uh, I don't know if that has to do with these little heating elements to keep snow off of these things, but it is kind of interesting. I guess this could just be like an artifact from the manufacturing process too. God knows what's in this water here. Well, We've made it far enough to see that there is some sort of a large circuit board in there. So, and based on this little cross section that you can see right here, it looks like this gray plastic has a lip that fits in there to make a gasket against the white part. Trying not to tear it up too much, but again, this thing is shot already, so I'm not too worried about that. It's like unwrapping a Christmas present here. I don't want to pry too much on whatever this is, but. How do these things come out? These just like press fit in there. If I could just figure out how to get underneath this thing and just, well, one thing that's certain is once you break this thing good, it loses all structural integrity. I'm just making a mess over here, aren't I? Okay. 
well, most of the outside covering is off now. I kind of stopped finessing it. And I think that if we can bust the rest of these gray lip pieces out, I'll probably be able to get in there. board and here we've got this is like where the data cable comes in bust these off it's... so to me it looks like there's two main components here we've got this which is where this I guess Ethernet comes in Ethernet and power and then there's actually the dish here. We've got like a, a plastic coating with what look like little metallic deals and then this honeycombed piece of plastic thing. There you go. Step one is completed. I don't even know what step two is. Now that I've got all these plastic tabs pushed through, this should all just peel apart now. There's that plastic honeycomb I was talking about. And there's another piece of plastic here. stuck on because of the water or oh yeah it is so we've got three sets of plastic there's this one that goes down first on the circuit board then another one of these guys which I'm kind of confused on this because it looks like It looks like these are conductive somehow. It's got a little shade, I don't know. Then the honeycomb. Then another piece of plastic. I'm gonna go ahead and lay all this out. And then there's the actual circuit board itself. I'm gonna go over this real slow in case there's something in here important that you guys wanna look at. Anyway, for now, that's probably as far as I'm going to take it, but I am certainly not done with this thing. I'm going to do a little bit of research and kind of try to figure out what all this is. Here are all the important parts laid out. And then all of my carnage. So I don't know if I'm gonna cut the video here of just gutting it and maybe make another video later of what to do now. I don't even know if there is a next step. Thank you guys for watching me tear that thing apart. Yeah, it quenched my curiosity of what's inside of it. Not that I know any more than I did before. All right, 
Thanks. Catch you guys in the next video.